Mind. He watches animals, and I think they're fascinating, right? An alpha wolf is not the one that enforces the law. An alpha wolf is the wolf that is definitely the strongest, okay? But he has the, the well-being of the whole uh, wolf pack in his mind. He watches, he makes the plans so that the wolf pack survives best. He it, commands with his presence. In the wolf pack, there's another wolf called the enforcer, his job is to enforce by biting and growling and attacking, making sure everybody stays in line, okay? So keep that in mind because sometimes we think an alpha male has to be a macho going out there. No, 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 okay? One of the, the strongest qualities in my game is that I actually give shit. I care. I really care about the girl. I care about her family. Yeah, you're probably wondering why I've been playing that. Um, there's a couple of little, little bits on this. Um, Video, um, it's some bald headed, uh, tattooed, uh, I think he's a man, uh, God's gift to women kind of people. Maybe true, maybe not, who cares? Um, it's more the point what he's, some of the pointers, well, probably are true and they do work. We know that for a fact, um, all over. Um, I've had a few people hit me up in regards to their court cases and whatnot the day before or two days before they're due in court and they say, oh, what am I meant to do? Uh, can I have your um, court papers so I can copy off you and take them into court? Well, yes, you can do all that. You can use my forms. But I'm telling you, if you do use my forms, and you don't know what you're talking about, they can and they will trip you up in several different ways, but you will find out when it happens. Um, I've spent voluntarily over 3,000 hours studying um, you, every part of it, um, of the common law, and not just common law, the man-made law, also, the Crimes Act and uh, everything else to go along with it. Um, <clears throat> someone said, well, someone said to me oh, last week, oh, why do you do it? And I said, well, last year, um, as you know, I was incarcerated for 82 days um, without charges on the least. Um, there's a, another part of this story, what a lot of people don't know. Um, but some do, if you've actually been watching um, all my videos and that. Um, I was on parole at the time, uh, that come into play, but um, I do believe that the case is a lot bigger than uh, they think it is, um, due to the fact I only had one, 21 days left of my parole before it was finished. Other than this so-called trumped up charge they threw on me and uh, locked me up without seeing a judge or fucking without even a phone call. Um, do not go past go, do not collect $200. Well, lucky I won $1,500 on the pokies that day and uh, just before they arrested me and I went to prison with 1500 bucks in my pocket. Well, that didn't last long, I had to send... 90% of it out to my sister to pay my rent and look after my pets and pay for fuel to go up and clean my fridge out, all the food I lost. Not to mention time with my daughter. Right. Something's going on with my computer. I've got uh, viruses right through it. Um, I thought I was on top of it, but obviously I'm not. So uh, if this is working, fine, if not I've just wasted probably another half hour, 40 minutes in this video. I'm pretty easy to get along with, uh, give me a call, um, inbox me, um, hit me up for my phone number, you can give me a call, I do have certain times I prefer to be called, 
Um, I like to have my office hours from 6 p.m. to, uh, what is it? It's just after midnight tonight. It's actually quite early for me. Uh, I'm normally doing these recordings in around 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. But such is life. I do have my daughter um, with me at the moment. I have uh, young Avery. Um, I'm sure you're all seeing videos of her or um, paintings and whatnot. But, uh, and the drama I'm going through with her ex missus. Now, saying that, I have a case on Thursday, which I do believe that there is a two ring binder. It can take 500 sheets of paper. Not bad for two days work or two nights. Um, I won't mention names. Um, may have mentioned it on um, Facebook or somebody else has posted a um, copy of a post from this so-called person which may have their name in it. But uh, other than that, um, he's trying to get a intervention order on me. Uh, he is, I think, a part-time worker or um, something like that at a service station in Horsham. Mind you, you've got uh, four service stations. Um, actually, no, one, two, three, four, five, six stations, service stations in town. Um, independent, I normally go to. Then I found out he was working there, so I stopped going to that, that place. Unless I had no choice, whether I'm running into town on empty, on empty, which I do quite often. Um, yeah, well, day before payday, uh, you, you never know what's going, what happens. Um, so I, I stopped going to that service station. Then um, I used a mobile service station. I went into quite a bit. Um, then he started working there. It's like God, you all got to be kidding me, aren't you? But um, the case I've got against him, um, it's slander, defamation of character, and um, I could probably almost squeeze in corporate um, sabotage, uh, which it would be actually good. Um, if I looked into it and I, if I wanted to really, really punish him, um, I'd probably go down that line and look into it more. And I do believe there would be a case there. Um, but he's going for an. I walked into the service station. He was behind the counter, he, talking on a um, talking on the office phone. There was another customer in there. I've walked up to the counter. I've put the money on the counter. Okay, I may have slammed it down on the counter. But I made sure he looked at me when I put it down to make sure that uh, he knew that I knew he had the money and it was the money for the fuel. So he couldn't try anything shifty. Um, as I was walking out, he's turned around and called me a tosser. <laughs> it's quite laughable, actually. I've turned around and I've said, uh, Excuse me? What did you say? What did you call me? And he's jumped straight to the panic button um, under the counter. He must have pushed it because he's pretty sure he shit himself. Oh, no, no, get out of the fucking service station. I said, listen here, you're the one calling me names. Oh, get out, get out. He started crying almost. I just turned around and walked out. Uh, whatever. You're a clown. Um... The way I met this person is back in 2013, I was uh, running the handyman business in Horsham. I had, um, at the time, three other workers. I also had um, the contractor clean Kmart in Horsham, in Bendigo, and in Wang, Rangaguada, uh, 
um, that's the join up there. Um, and I used to do a lot of advertising on Facebook for staff due to the fact free it's free advertising and a quick response. I get to talk to the person and not the bloody job agency or anything like that. Plus, I went through all them anyhow and they fucking dead set useless. Fucking couldn't find a bloody, um, uh, well, let, let's just leave it at that. Everyone knows what the in employment agencies are like. Um, that might be another video for me to do, but, um, as of the 1st of July, they actually changed all the system and all the names of the different companies, but it's all the same workers. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was talking to someone in Centrelink about it, and um, she said, oh, no. I said, well, they may what? Have they changed their ABN and changed their fucking company name, have they? But it's, it boils down to the same fucking company, the same corporation running it, the government, and she just looked at me and smiled. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, um, I had a job I said I'd try him out on, right? Now, it's a backyard. Now, if you're watching this, Pam, uh, which you may or may not watch it, uh, anyone in Horsham, somebody on Facebook who got us to, to trim a tree in her backyard and also um, was meant to polish uh, the back decking for them, which um, hadn't been finished. I don't blame you. Um, I do apologise once again for the behaviour of... Uh, my temporary staff member at the time and whatnot. Well, it turned out this tree would have taken anyone an hour to trim up, half an hour to clean up, so hour and a half, maximum two hours with a tip to the rubbish tip to get rid of the fucking rubbish. He said, look, yep, that's fine. Um, try it out. I said, look, you're on 20 bucks an hour to start, then we'll, turn, then we'll sit down and talk about uh, money. He said, yeah, not a problem. Yeah, it was stupid me. I don't get it. I, back then, I didn't get fucking contracts and that in place with staff. Um, I have been fucked over in the past, but uh, nothing that major until uh, this guy. He had completely and utterly destroyed my reputation in town and any chance of making a living... Um, and I do believe that uh, it's time for him to pay. Not just him. Um, I'm pulling his sister into play as well, as well uh, Leanne Gray, and also um, well, shit, I didn't say that name. And there's also another person, a his ex-wife. Now they all know who they are. Um, and there's quite a few out there on Facebook in Horsham who may want to watch what they say about people and what they do. Um, I'm hoping that by what I'm doing in this court case in Horsham, we'll be standing up for myself. And I'm hoping the media gets hold of this. Yes, I have a criminal record. Get over it. Yes, I have done wrong in the past. Yes, I have paid my dues. Have you? Have the government? Almost five years ago. And you're still going on about it. Get over it. And uh, certain Matoa police officers. Fucking grow up, will ya? Some of the bullshit you want to fucking pull. Fuck, we're not scared of you guys. You push me around long enough. Bring it, bring it into the courtroom. We'll have it out in there. In front of a jury. And five Supreme Court judges. If not more, if you want. Talk to your boss. I guarantee that he won't want half of the shit fucking brought up in Supreme Court. 
I'll tell you what, I'd have a lot of fucking support. Well, yeah, uh, that's my rant over. <laughs> uh, that's just the passion I've got into um, studying my rights. Not your rights, my rights. Because they are mine and you have to... F if you believe you have a right, you need to fight to keep it. Well, not to fight to keep it, fight to use it more the point. No, you shouldn't have to pay to use one of your rights. You've seen me video that I'm called to the fines department. Yes, you don't need a license. You don't need Reg A to drive a bloody vehicle. How much more proof do you want? How many more people out there do you... Do, want, do you want to fucking put their hand up and say, yeah, uh, what they're saying is true? We already know it's true. I've done enough time in prison. And if you go from your record, a lot of it I shouldn't have been charged with. I'd hate to see how much time I've done um, for driving offences with no victim. I'm 39 years old. I was brought up in a welfare department. I was awarded the state until I was 16. So if you want to bl blame anyone, if you want to arrest anyone for wrongdoing, arrest yourself. The state government, that's who brought me up. You should be holding the parents responsible for the fucking uh, kids. Pull up on all this fucking soft crap fucking child abuse when you fucking smack them for doing wrong. Fuck, I caught the bloody um jug cord. I don't know how many wooden spoons my mum's broken over my backside or over my back. Fucking don't have any. I won't say who, but fucking there's a, a certain foster family in Ballarat who uh, even sick their fucking dog on him. Um, got it to a point where, well, the dog was right in front of me, didn't touch me, but that's beside the point. Child abuse or what? <laughs> Some of the stories I can tell you are of fucking. The upbringing of some people. It's a fucking joke. Government didn't know what the fuck they were doing back in back in the seventies, back in the eighties. Do you really think they know what they're fucking doing this day and age? <coughs> now I know. <clears throat> I know lawyers, <clears throat> they get you to sign a bit of paper um, and the fine print and the bullshit in that contract with them uh, may excuse the lawyer from um, wrongful doing or being sued. But um, my ex has just put in another affidavit. Um, it's got a copy of the post off my Facebook page, um, which has got nothing to do with her, but uh, the point I'm trying to get at is she's blocked from my Facebook page. Up until the 14th of last month, there was a um, intervention order in place. Now, this post was um, posted uh, six weeks before, uh, back in early May. Uh, I don't have the exact figure, but uh, date, but, but it was back in May, way before the... Um, Intervention order expired. <clears throat> I've tried uh, making a um, making a complaint to the police in regards to this. They don't want a bar to do with it. Um, same as um, the fact that she's been telling Avril, Avery that Avery's moving to Ballarat um, when there's a court order in place. Sorry, um, that does just doesn't work. But your whole house of cards is about to crumble in Horsham. If 
the judge does not kick me out and annoy the living shit out of me. And, um, well, it's an intervention order. The worst he can do is um, place an intervention order on me and <laughs> maybe even frame me in a nut farm. But, hey, shit, get some good drugs in a nut farm, don't you? But, uh, yeah, well, no. That's not the place I want to be. Um, I've got two daughters. Um, Haley, I love you. Yes, I really do. And I am so, so sorry. I've got to give you a call tomorrow. Um, this whole court bullshit has cost me uh, quite a lot. Um, at the time of my first incarceration, I had just met my daughter in Tasmania. Um, at nine years old. Some would say it's quite sad. Um, there was personal reasons why um, me and her mother split up. Um, Unfortunately, um, what happened, happened. Uh, we can't turn back the time. Um, I respect her for what she did and the reasons why she did it. In a way, I don't blame her. Um, but back then, it fucking uh, cut me wide open. But... Um, I think I've become a better person since then. Um, more caring. I've tried to keep the criminal activity into a bare minimum. Um, anything I have done in the past, I have been charged for and, um, if not incarcerated, um, dealt with by the courts of Australia, being legal or lawful. Uh, unlawful or however you want to look at the courts um, what's done is done unfortunately no point looking back and uh, saying that uh, oh shit fucking if that didn't happen that didn't happen yeah well it's about time the um, government and the, especially the police force in around Australia actually start looking at what they what they are doing we don't give a fuck if you want money Ask for it. Don't steal it. Get rid of some of your fucking bullshit laws what fucking go nowhere to start with. No victim. No crime. No crime. No money for you guys. You're meant to be a, pe a peace officer. If you're not, if you're saying you are a police officer or a police man, why are you out of uniform? You've got to be in full uniform if you want to be a copper. You all know that. Um, don't see a lot of people talking about that on Facebook. Um, <laughs> Being, being as cheeky as I am, I had the um, one of the local coppers on the front doorstep um, <laughs> fucking who doesn't know how, how to do paperwork, nor does the sergeant. Um, but <laughs> that's another thing. They will actually uh, see me in court soon over these fines and whatnot. But uh, such is life. Now, back to the main subject, this uh, court case Thursday. Um, he's trying to put an intervention order on me. Basically, the way it's going to go down, 
um, as long as I've done all my paperwork correctly, is I will get a temporary um, intervention order placed on him, um, and hopefully one served on his ex-wife and one on his sister. Um, if not, have the paperwork process for that to start to happen. Um, may have charges filed against the three of them for um, defamation of character and um, slander or um, cyber bullying would probably be the better option for myself. Um, yeah, I will be putting in a compo claim on that those charges if they are laid. Um, if they're not, I don't think they're going to be um, ever be able to convict me of anything between now and to the day I die. Um, well, as long as they don't shoot me tomorrow, but yeah. But um, I'm not paranoid that the coppers will shoot me. Um, if it happens, it happens. Um, I'm not a violent person. Never have been, never will be. Um, a lot of people who know me will know that. Um, but listening to the scanner on one occasion when I was um, pulled over for a random rev test, uh, they ran me license and all that and uh, came back with a warning that I was a, um, a violent offender. So um, obviously they can't tell me why that's on there. Um, I'll be, I may be asking a judge on um, Thursday if he can tell me. Um, if there's a prosecutor, I'll be asking them. Uh, and yeah, we'll take it from there. But uh, yeah, so um, the paperwork for any court case. You need a notice of appearance, form 25 of the, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to start a new video just on these forms, so um, I'll talk to you soon, it is the 15th of the July and I've got the hiccup, sorry, uh, 2015 at 12.39am and this video is 27 minutes. Uh, 27, 28 minutes on the dot now.